Hi, welcome to Mennonite Farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning, and anything else that might be related to food. And in this video, we're gonna be making a stuffed pepper soup from the pantry using my home canned chicken broth and tomatoes and my homegrown bell peppers. This meal comes together so easily using these ingredients. Let's get started. To make this warm stuffed pepper soup, we'll need these ingredients. One pound of ground beef, one pound of pork sausage. I buy this in bulk in a 10 pound box and I repackage it into quart sized bags in one pound each. Two cups of previously cooked long grain rice, one quart of tomato sauce. Now the recipe calls for one quart of diced tomatoes or 28 ounces. So you can use a 28 ounce jar of diced tomatoes from the store. I'm using two pints, my very last two pints from 2019 of raw packed whole tomatoes and water, but you can also use crushed tomatoes or whole tomatoes from your pantry. You need six cups of beef stock or six cups of water with two granular cubes of beef flavoring. Then of course we need two to three bell peppers. I'm using ones that I grew in my garden this year. And these are very nice peppers, I might say so myself. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm gonna throw in a tablespoon of my favorite seasoning, farm dust. Then wouldn't you know, this recipe calls for a quarter cup of brown sugar. I am using a very large pot. I would say it's at least 10 quart. Who knows, maybe it's even a 15. I'm just saying don't use a five and a half quart pot. It will not fit. First, I'm gonna brown up my meat. First, so adding the sausage, then our hamburger. And just wait for the cats to come. As the beef is getting brown, we're gonna cut up our peppers. I'm just cutting them into maybe a half inch square pieces. My garden did well this year, or at least my, well, especially my bell peppers. I think they like the dry, hot heat. I think we were watering it every other day, the garden that is. I just planted four green bell peppers, four sweet peppers, and a variety called Big Bertha. They're really good for canning. They are very long. One year I planted 70 pepper plants that we started from seed. I ran out of ideas to use my bell peppers because you can only dehydrate and freeze so much. I actually pressure canned some and I regret that. It was just too mushy after they've been processed for 45 minutes. Have better things to put in jars than mushy bell peppers. Still browning our meat. How many of you knew that if you washed your knife as soon as you're done using it, that it would last longer and stay sharper? I just found that out from one of my subscribers who used to be a professional chef. If this isn't your first time watching me cook, you know I take paper towels to pick up the grease. It just saves from the chance of getting burnt when you're trying to tilt it into the sink or and you don't want this going in your drain anyhow. You don't want plumbing bills. And my husband thinks I'm the plumber. <laughs> you want to get the grease off your meat here because if you have leftovers, you want to um, not have that fat on the top when you go to reheat it. All right, I lost my can opener already. All right, we are going to open up some jars here. Let's see if I can, yep, good seal. You always wanna listen for that. Ask me how I know. So we're gonna add our tomato sauce. And open up the beef stock. That's a good seal. Then I'm gonna take the beef stock and add it to my tomato sauce jar because if I grew all that tomato, I'm not gonna let it go to waste. 
All right, so get all that in there and dump that into our pot. Then I'm gonna add our whole tomatoes. Oh, that was a good seal. Dump that in. All right. And another whole tomato. Dump that in. Those were sauna Muranos, if you're curious. They pack easy into those pint jars. All right. And one more quart of beef stock. All right, everything was sealed good. And this rinse out these tomato jars. My mom always taught me, waste not, want not. All right. All right, so we got our meat, our tomato sauce, our whole tomatoes, and our beef stock. So now we're gonna add our quarter cup of brown sugar. That was well packed. And I'm gonna measure out two cups of the bell peppers and freeze the rest. One, two. Then we're gonna add my favorite farm dust. And if you were curious, because I had a lot of questions on my last video, it has, let's see if you can read it too. Kosher salt, sea salt, dried onion and garlic, black pepper, fennel, celery, marjoram, thyme, rosemary, savory, sage, oregano, and basil. Oh, it smells so good. Somebody asked it if I could figure out how to make a copycat version. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of that, and we're gonna add half a teaspoon and another half teaspoon of salt. So maybe just one teaspoon of salt. You can salt, salt it at the table if you're wanting more flavor or, you know, salt. We're gonna bring this up to a boil, and we're gonna reduce to a simmer for 30 minutes. And make sure that brown sugar gets dissolved. And if you're curious, my husband said the last time we made this that he didn't even tell that there was sugar in this. It just gives it a, the taste you would in chili, but I don't put sugar in chili either, so I don't know. I think with the peppers it helps with the acidity. While I'm making this soup, I'm also finishing up canning a whole canner load of green beans. I hear some of you sealing, that's a good sign. Especially since I'm using my four jar lids. I think they're all sealed so far. I think they all are. They're always popping. I got two more rows of green beans about to bloom. I hope they bloom because we had 47 degree weather last night. Yikes. And my husband didn't even have the heat on, so you know we were snuggling last night. All right. It's almost to a boil. We're gonna cook it, cook it on a simmer for 30 minutes to soften up the bell peppers. Then after that, we're gonna add our rice for 10 minutes to heat that through. All right, it's been 30 minutes and our bell pepper should be tender. So now we're gonna add our rice. And one big lump, yep. And then mix that to combine. And we're gonna let this simmer another 10 minutes to heat it through. Then we should be able to serve.
neither hungry or very good. It's probably both, right? Probably. Is it better than your mom's? She never made this. <laughs> she just made stuffed peppers? Yeah. If you've made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram for more great content. May I suggest you watching this next? Take care and God bless, and see you in the next video.